So you want a nice midweek meal that's fun, exciting, affordable and healthy. I've got a great recipe that heroes mushrooms. They count as one of your five fruit and veg a day and they're really affordable. You can do so much with them. And in this healthy, delicious recipe, I'm gonna give you a method for cooking mushrooms that maybe you haven't seen before. We're gonna stuff them into homemade flatbreads with pickle and feta. It's gonna be delicious. It puts veggies at the heart of the dish and it's also really affordable. So I've got 400 grams of closed cut mushrooms. So I have a nice large pan, right, non-stick. I'm gonna put it on a high heat. Get these clean mushrooms, they go straight in. There's some big ones, feel free to half them. Now the thing that's genius about this sort of dry frying method is we don't have to use or waste oil. Things like mushrooms, courgettes, aubergines, they absorb a lot of oil. You've got a nice extra virgin olive oil. You don't wanna cook with it at high temperatures. You don't wanna waste it. So what I find is if you grill it, then dress it, you get the most delicious flavors. So look, you can see you have got a bit of caramelization happening and it's starting to dehydrate. Smells really good. The other veggie I'm gonna use is a really underrated veggie, courgettes. Let me give you a little trick. Cut down the length like this. If you look at this slightly fibrous inside, that tends to be the part that people don't like eating. So we're gonna take this half and we'll cut it into a quarter. Just use the knife just to take that kind of fluffy seedy inside out. You will find that people love what you do with this much, much more. So look, I've done that to two courgettes and then with these kind of off cuts, you can put them in soups, but you can just put them in the composter as well. And these can stand by to get charring. Okay, we're gonna make some homemade flatbreads. This will serve you really, really well. It's humble, it's cheap, it's delicious, and it's fundamental, right? How many times have you wanted to go and eat something and you've run out of bread? So in here is 300 grams of self-raising flour. In here is 160 milliliters of water, cold water. I want a good pinch of salt. It is so simple, it is so cheap, and it is texturally so delicious. Just use the fork to start with so you don't get sticky fingers. Unlike bread dough with yeast, you don't have to let it prove for hours. We make it, we roll it, we cook it, we eat it. Right, we're talking 15 minutes, like that's pretty good, right? So look, just move the dough around and what you want to do is just roll that dough around the bowl so you clean the bowl. You want it to be sort of elastic, you want it to be smooth, right? How quick was that? And that will serve four flatbreads. So let that rest, let's look in the pan. What we've done is create the most perfectly delicious thing to suck up dressing, flavor. So in a nice big bowl like this, go in with a couple of nice tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. We're making the dressing, so three parts oil to one part acid. Use any vinegar you like, season with sea salt, some black pepper, then I've got a secret ingredients. This is Ras El Hanout. This is a North African spice mix. In one thing, you've got sweet paprika, we've got cumin seeds, salt, coriander seeds, chili flakes, fennel seeds, black pepper, cinnamon, nutmeg, red onion, turmeric, pimento, rose petals, cardamom, black onion seed, ginger, star anise, clove. So let's get that in there. So we're going to go in with three teaspoons. This is going to be good. You could do this with many different vegetables. So if you come over here and have a look at this, it's gnarly, it's dark, it's hot. When it's hot and steamy like that, it's going to absorb amazing flavors. So what I'm going to do is do exactly the same with the courgettes and then mix it all up. And I promise you, these will blow you away. Even just as that with grilled meats, that in flatbreads, you know, that as a side dish, that as a kind of meze antipasti sort of tapas vibe. Like this has got such potential. Delicious. Get a small clove of garlic and just grate some garlic. It gives you a really amazing fragrance and actually heat. Who doesn't like garlic mushrooms, right? It's a good vibe. I think this is a really intelligent way to cook veggies. I'll put that to one side. I'm gonna show you now the quickest pickle. Hero in something that you probably walk past every week, radishes. Get yourself a standard box grater and just grate it. I'm gonna turn this into a quick pickle that is amazing with salads, fantastic grilled meats. It's really, really good with like chili con carnies or sort of like stews. It just brings a little bit of texture and life and acidity to a dish. I want to be fairly generous on salt and then vinegar again, about three, four tablespoons of, of vinegar. And then just use your fingertips just to mix it in. But that is it, my friends. That is a really, really quick pickle. And if I have a little try, it should be yummy and delicious. Now. 
Let's have a look at the courgettes. Look at that, yes. They're nice and coloured. So now we just do the other side. Can you hear that? And once you've done that, put it onto a board. That's what I want. Like it's still got its shape, it's still firm enough, but it's nice and caught on the outside. I love that. Take a knife and badly cut it up. Any old shape and sizes, that's what I want. And now, while it's hot and it can take on flavours, we dress it in that beautiful dressing. It smells amazing. So this, guys, as a side dish, brilliant. To have it beside meat, you know, lovely roasted fish. It is a good all-round thing. And now I want to do the final little flourishes. I've got feta cheese. Break the feta up like this and it crumbles so beautifully. Then iceberg lettuce. Finely slice it. So let's do the fun bit now, the flatbreads. Now the pan is still on. Give it a little wipe out like that. I'm going to turn it up to medium high. If you wanted to do this dough in advance, just make sure you cover it with a damp cloth. And then you just want to divide this into quarters. Gently roll that a little ball. Use a little flour. Roll it out seven, eight inches in diameter. There's nothing more delicious than freshly cooked flatbread. Super easy. You can't get them wrong. If they're round, great. If they're wonky, great. You can go a bit thicker, a bit thinner. There's no right or wrong. It's you know, one of the most ancient breads ever. Such a great little simple recipe. And there's the last one. Pan, nice and hot, medium high heat. You can feel it's hot. Don't have to put any oil in there at all. Um, we've got the self-raising flour. So as soon as this hits the heat, it activates that raising agent. You're gonna get little bubbles. It's gonna be beautiful. This is all about speed and texture. So look at this. This is the beauty of making your own flatbreads. These little bubbles of gas here, it's gonna give you crispiness, lightness, and then just turn it over, look at that. Super simple, super quick. Pretty much one minute and you get this. Look at that. Gorgeous. So let's serve it up. Take some of that lovely refreshing iceberg lettuce. That's gonna be fresh and crunchy. Look at these beautiful veggies, absolutely beautiful. You could do this with peppers, asparagus, squash, you know, aubergine, so many things. It's an amazing technique. These will be delicious, delicious mushrooms and courgettes. If you wanted to make this not vegetarian, right, you could get a little slice of chicken through there, some prawns, some fish, you can do whatever you want. But these principles are about flavor and they're about getting more of the good stuff into your diet with a nice little pinch of this beautiful radish. I love it. And don't forget the juices that have come out. Just beautiful. And then last but not least, Mr. Feta cheese. That, my friends, is a brilliant, really affordable, healthy little dish. Let's roll this up. Let's get busy with it. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it in half. Ah, oh, look at that, come on. Mmm, really juicy, really tasty, really good fun to do. This is a brilliant way to celebrate mushrooms and simple cooking, done good. Mmm, so good. I'm really pleased with that, guys. If you want the recipe, just go to Tesco Real Food and let's give this a go.